Hi, I'm Nikki Maxwell. Welcome to Dork Diaries Academy. This is Dork Diaries Academy. Pretty awesome, right? You are going to love it here. We'll be hanging out here together, having fun, and learning new things. Before we get started, let me introduce you to Mrs. Dolly Ann, my favorite teacher ever. She's going to talk to you about Dork Diaries Book 14 in the assignment for today. Hey Dork Diary fans, my name is Dolly Ann. I'm here today to talk to you about the Dork Diaries and the new Dork Diaries Academy. Dork Diaries, Tales from a Not-So-Best Friend Forever is the perfect title for book, book 14 of the Dork Diaries series. It's Nikki Maxwell's diary that she wrote about going on the road with the Bad Boys, a world-known boy band that she and her band is the opening act for. she just can't get away from. Mackenzie tries to weasel her way in to getting on stage with the bad boys, getting to meet the bad boys, getting to go backstage with the bad boys. She's even the roommate of poor Nikki. Nikki does her best to try to control her emotions. In true fashion, everybody can only take so much. My favorite part of book 14 was when Nikki and her band came out on stage and they finally got their moment to be the opening act for the bad boys. song number two and song number three. I love song number two. It's one of my very favorite songs. And now song number three is one of my favorite songs too. We slowed things down and dimmed the lights on our second song. It was the classic all-time favorite, Journeys, Don't Stop Believing. Everyone loved that song and clapped along. Our final song tonight is one that we wrote, I explained. It's a reminder to just hang in there, even when you feel like you don't fit in. The audience roared with excitement and stayed on their feet as we sang our original song, Dork's Rule. And by the time we repeated the chorus, 30,000 voices enthusiastically sang along as the stadium lit up with 30,000 twinkling cell phone lights. It was a mind-blowing experience. For every great book, there's a visual in your head that sometimes you can create. But for this book, with the illustrations being so great, there was a really good illustration that stood out to me. And so my favorite illustration in the book was on page 42, I think, yeah, page 42. And it was a picture of Nikki with her family, her little sister Brianna, and they had taken the 4th of July weekend to go and ride the pedal boats. So I love this picture though. They got. They got attacked by 90 ants, and so I thought it was a really cute picture of them happily eating with 90 ants all over them. I think overall the reason I like this book is because I feel like Nikki Maxwell was fully expressed. I feel like she expressed herself in a way through music, through her friends, and her family that she just was herself, and I enjoyed getting to see that part of her once again in her diary. Hey, it's me, Nikki. This is the end of our discussion about Dork Diaries Book 14. But now, we're going to talk about some fun and exciting Book 14 projects that you can complete at home or school. And here they are. 
Would you like to become president of the Bad Boys Fan Club? Just go for it. You get to meet and greet the bad boys. How cool is that? So make a bad boys poster or t-shirt to show them you're a super fan. The bad boys concert was so awesome. Don't you want to remember it forever? Make a cool bad boys tour scrapbook page. Imagine the bad boys performing a song or rap that you wrote. It could totally happen. And now our teacher, Mrs. Dollyann, is going to give you all the details about these fun, cool projects. After reading book 14, I wanted to read some more Dork Diaries. I've already read all the other books. And book 15 doesn't come out until October. So I started thinking, what can I do now that I'm finished? reading all of these books. I contacted my friends over at the Dork Diaries. They created some projects for us to do. So there's four projects that we can choose from. So I'm gonna go over those four projects and I have one in mind that I'm really interested in doing. All of these projects can be found at Dork Diaries Academy at dorkdiaries.com. So there's four projects to choose from and you just need to choose one and I'm going to tell you more about that here in a minute. But the first project is called the Bad Boys Fan Club President. So the bad boys are looking for a president of their fan club. And so you're going to go through and it's almost like an interview process or maybe it's like an audition for a play. And so you're going to create a profile for yourself and we want you to be really creative and don't be afraid to put yourself out there and come up with some of those wild things you've ever thought of. The second project, you're gonna create a poster and on your poster, you're gonna show your spirit for the bad boys as if you're walking into a concert and you're holding up a poster and you're excited and you want everyone to know who your favorite bad boy is. Or you could make a poster for all four bad boys. You can also create a t-shirt and you don't necessarily have to do this on a t-shirt. You can put it on a piece of paper and it could just be a drawing that's going to be made into a t-shirt. So that's the second project. The third project is the Bad Boys Tour scrapbook page. And you're going to create a scrapbook page out of the scrapbook that Nikki Maxwell made when she went on tour with the Bad Boys that summer. So you're going to cut out, you're going to get magazines and you're going to cut out words. You're going to make words out of letters. You're going to cut out pictures. You're going to do some labeling of who's who. And I'm interested to see what people, what kids, what you guys, what the fans, I'm a fan and I'm not a kid, um, what you pick for the people that you think are most like Mackenzie Hollister out of magazines today. Um, what pictures do you think most look like the bad boys? What picture do you think looks like Nick, Nikki Maxwell? The last one takes a lot of guts. It's the rap poem contest. So if you like to dance, if you like to sing, if you like to rhyme, if you like to move, we want you to create a rap or a poem and give it a really cool title. And if your rap or your poem wins, then guess what? It's going to be performed by the bad boys on tour. If you're feeling a little disconnected and a whole lot of confused, that makes perfect sense. So that gives you a reason to go to Dork Diaries Academy at dorkdiaries.com. And all of this information will be on a tab on that page. So everything I've said today, you don't even have to hear this. It's already on the page. Each time there's a new set of projects that are given out, Dork Diaries is going to have two projects that are selected. And the way those are going to be selected is from fans, us, you, me, us. We're going to get to select the best project. And so what we can gain from this, of course, is getting to collaborate amongst our peers at all different ages and different levels across our country. 
But the second thing that we could gain, if you're the proud winner of the most likes, then you could earn book 15 signed by the author, Miss Rachel Renee Russell, all to yourself, signed by her. So that's an opportunity that I'm willing to do a project for that maybe won't take that long, but I will pour my heart and my creativity into it because I would love to have a book signed by her, the author. Um, so you're going to go to the dork Diaries Academy at dorkdiaries.com page and you would upload your project to that page. No pictures, please. We do not know all the creepsters that are out there and we don't want anybody's face shown. So for security reasons, please don't upload your face. Also, look back and see what all of your friends, all of your friends that you have something in common with have posted and like their things. Now, something I have not said is that there's actually going to be two people chosen each time the projects roll out. Um, the first person is going to be picked by you guys, the fans, and me, the fan. Uh, the second person that's going to be picking is going to be yours truly, me. Just kidding. I'm joking. It's not, not really. I wish. Um, the second persons that are going to be picking these projects are going to be our friends from the book brandon zoe chloe nikki all of those friends that are in the book the main characters if you have an idea about a project that maybe you think is a really creative project that you would like to do please share that with us at the dork diaries academy at dorkdiaries.com we would love to hear from you that would be something that maybe later we could post as a project the main thing is is that we want our fans you guys all of us we want y'all to love reading and we want you to feel inspired by these books and by the voice that Nikki Maxwell has as well as the voice of Mackenzie Hollister and we want to see that come through the projects so please just have fun with the projects and pour your heart into them because everybody's different and that's what Dork Diaries is about is embracing that inner dork we're all dorks at the end of the day. And I've had so much fun today just being a dork. So find your inner dork and let your inner dork shine. Hey, it's Nikki again. Even though my dream tour with the bad boys went from awesome to awful, I still hung in there and kept a positive attitude. And in the end, my dream came true and I performed on stage before thousands of fans. I had a dream and did not give up. So if I can do it, you can do it too. I hope you enjoyed your first class at Dork Diaries Academy. I know I sure did. If you have any questions, email me at dorkdiariesacademy at dorkdiaries.com. Wasn't that so much fun? See you next time, and remember to stay smart and dorky. Parents and teachers, for Common Core state standards and Lexile information, please visit the Dork Diaries Academy website.